Okay, we're back. Um, right. Switch back in the stream. I hope everyone enjoyed the, uh, the slideshow. I know I love getting the pictures and seeing what other people, how other people see their their version of Skyrim, vanilla or otherwise. Yeah, I think there's definitely a storm on the way. Right, I think what we're going to do is we are going to go. Oh, wrong button. I think we are going to go up to uh, see the Greybeards. But I want to do something first, I think. There is a... Oops. There is a... Where are we? There is a place that we need to visit first. Not that. Although I may head there first. Might make the journey easier. There is um, a farm in this vicinity, I believe. That's uh, down here. That I think we're going to go and visit. Um, Ashin has a family friend over that way, uh, someone who uh, she grew up with, um, and knew, knew his parents knew her father. And I think we could do with his help simply because um, <laughs> we could get our asses handed to us in dungeons. So um, we're going to go over there and uh, see if he's willing to uh, to join us on our travels. If I'd have thought about it, yes, we could have done, well, done this uh, prior to that, but I think we can probably get the carriage over that way, over to Iverstead. Iverstad. Height of laziness. Get on a horse to ride to a carriage. Take you to any of the old capitals. I'd like to hire your carriage. Where do you want to go? Where are we? I've start. Climb and back, and we'll be off. With this ENB, the actual the screen actually does go dark, which is quite nice. Seasons of Skyrim, you don't get that. Actually, that reminds me, th th Ventic, are you still around? Looks like you are. Um, as our resident hex chat expert. Perhaps you can tell me, because I'm I'm not sure yet. Um, can you get Hexchat to look for a command in chat and change a text file on disk as a result of that command? Of course. Oh. Stand a bit closer. Stop that here before continuing on their way up to Hyrothgar. If we're planning on making the climb, we should do the same. Ah, so we're in the right area for that anyway. Excellent. <laughs> Just call a horse in a guard's face. Excellent. Right, I think we head out in this direction. Over here is kind of where we need to be. 
Yes, I think so. 826. Or over here. I think it might actually be on the island. We can go and check. Listen to a command and change a file on disk. Yes. What I'm actually looking to do is I would like to have a command where you guys can set a death counter. Now I can present that on the stream from a text file. But um But I need something that can actually change it and I'm wondering whether hex chat can do that. Can do. Excellent. I might have to ask you for some instruction on how to set that up if that's okay. That is quite the view, isn't it? Sorry guys for the pause. I'm gonna have to uh, nip off the horse and make take a screenshot here, I think. How are you doing? Good to see you. Thank you for joining us. Now, I've heard a rumour that uh, Castio, our friend, hangs out in this area, camps here. But um, I don't know for certain. Crash! Yay! Just what we wanted. Yeah, I figured it'd need scripting. Um, not really a problem. Just need to really know what sort of language we're talking about and uh, some command references. That's all. I just wasn't sure whether it could even uh, even do it. <laughs> Everyone in each other's uh, streams, people checking out the same uh, streamers. It's a uh, fairly tight tight knit little community we have. Python and Perl. Okay. Nothing like uh, nothing like learning another uh, yet another language. But <laughs> yeah, okay, excellent. I'll go and uh, I'll check that out. Thanks very much, man. Explore, oh, that's not fair. Oh, okay, such as oh, okay, no, that's fine. I'll um I'll take a look. Yep. 
Yeah, Bo's a, a regular here. Um, in fact, we're in the same Steam the group. Capital. Where do you want to go? My apologies for this. Uh, I don't want to go to Falkreath. Why did I even click that? The carriage is the safest. Where do you want to go? Um, Iverstad. Climb and back, and we'll be off. Before I do that. Um, no, that's not what I wanted. Settings. Gameplay. Interesting. Save on travel is on, but it didn't. That's really not useful. Okay. Yes, definitely. Save early, save often. Unfortunately, I relied on the game to do something for me and shouldn't have done, because I should have learnt my lesson by now. Yes, save early, save often. It's also the name of um, our Steam group, which you'll find a link to down in, uh, in the social part of the profile, where you will also find Bow and Bullet. As as alongside some other fabulous streamers, um, Shady Cat, Jordan Millward, and Velvet Violetta. Now I shall now do what Skyrim should have done for me. And that's safe. Plenty of pilgrims stop here before continuing on their way up to Hyrothgar. If we're planning on making the climb, we should do the same. How did you manage to say that and blow down that horn at the same time? That's quite impressive. That would be a wall. We don't want to be riding around on that. My rules are awesome. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> I like to think so too. Fairly open. Thank you very much, Fentic. That's very good of you. Cheers. Um, I do like this part of Skyrim. It's very beautiful. Okay, we're going to head off to the right here, I think. Saw rules of about 30 something rules all centered around not being a douchebag. <laughs> I said, Tell them, dear, don't be at all. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Could have made it a lot simpler. Bit of stutter there. Straight on. I think we're heading up here. Oh. Absolutely. There speaks a man who has written many reports for management. I can sympathise entirely. stutters around here. Must be all the trees. Uh, 
There is no mod for the timescale 1 and 5, um, the ratio. It's a console command. Um, I think it is something along the lines of uh, set space time scale. I think it's time scale. Yeah, set space time scale equals five. Oh no, it's two, isn't it? Two five. Set time scale to five. That easy. So, why do you join the storm force? Get out of it, you lot. Uh, yep, yeah, realistic needs and diseases, or I need, will do that for you. And it will uh, require you to sleep. And I've taken a wrong turning. Um, the, what you can do is turn off some of the features that you um, you don't want, I believe. You enjoy that. Shady, how you doing? Good to see you. I think this is where... Is this where we're headed? Yeah, we are. We've had a couple of little glitches today, but um, it's been pretty good so far. Rethy Farm. Yeah, this is where we've been told our uh, friend hangs out. Safon, how you doing? Good to see you back. Good to have you in in the chat. How you been? Doing well? This place is boring. Nothing but the same thing every day. Ugh. Okay. We could always use help picking crops if you need a few extra coins. Is there a lot of nunnery? Apparently, there's a lot of nunnery around Actually, here. I'm growing it if you hadn't noticed. No, I hadn't. I'm the only person alive that can cultivate nurn root from a seed to a fully grown plant. How did you accomplish such a feat? I had quite the mentor. He taught me everything he knew about the nurn root and its strange properties. I haven't seen him in many years. I wonder what became of him. Yes, Shady, we're uh, trying to uh, locate a family friend, um, someone that uh, Ashlyn knew when she was a lot younger. Her father and uh, this guy's father were hunters together, um, mainly because we could do with some assistance in our questing. Do I have no... Do I have no route to sell. I wasn't aware I had no route to sell. Are you an alchemist? I used to be. There isn't much time for that in my life anymore, I'm afraid. I actually owned a shop in the Vex City long ago. But I had to leave all that behind when the Red Mountain erupted. Perhaps someday I'll reopen a shop here in Skyrim. I think there's an achievement about it, Exporter. I'm actually, I don't know. You seem quite exhausted. Is it that obvious? I've got my hands full here. Between the farm chores, cultivating my supply of Nurnroot, and keeping a tight brain on my sister Adori, there's little time for rest. Um, I could help you if you like. Really? 
That would be a pleasant change. One of the ingredients I need to cultivate Nurnroot are jazz-baked grapes. The acidic content of the juice is perfect for the soil. I need 20 of them for my current crop. <laughs> I'm finding those jazz-baked grapes. They're very rare. Find 20 jasmine grapes. Okay, that seems a little extreme. Um, the um, mod that does the time here uh, is called A Matter of Time. If you have a look at the uh, Skyrim mod list, you'll find a link to them. So apparently she's growing Nern root here, but I don't actually see any yet. Oh, that would be the big glowing field over here. Okay. We can harvest some of those. Thank you very much, Terry. Uh, okay. What does the Nuru actually do for you? Let's have a look. Damages health. Lovely. Just what I needed. Why are you still... I'm not even going to ask. How did she go? I wish I could head to one of the capital cities. Maybe even back to Mornhold. Anywhere but here. One day I hope to become a painter. But at this rate it looks like it's never going to happen. You've certainly got a lot of, uh, a lot to work with. It needs something. I have a, l uh, uh, I have known root to sell. Honest pay for honest work. I have goods to sell. Honest pay for honest work. Does your sister cause you a lot of trouble? Aduri is what some would call a free spirit. She likes to wander the fall forest for hours on end. If we were still living at my alchemy shop in Vivek City, it wouldn't be so bad. She could wander the canals all day. But around here, there's a tremendous amount of work to get done. Not to mention the dangers she's not ready to face. Okay. Good luck finding those Jazbay grapes. They're very rare. So... Okay. Is there anyone else around here that might know? I don't want to talk to the dog, thank you. Traveler, are you by any chance in need of a companion? Mm, yes, but I have someone in mind. I'm a companion or a lifelong one. Uh, I don't like mages, so no. Sorry, try someone else. Last. It seems no one is willing to take this infernal dog off my hands. The dog? Um, no thanks. Yes, he is quite the unworthy specimen. Foul of breath and hide and never at a loss for words. Hi, Bo. It will bite Good to see you. and bark at trolls, defecate on rugs and urinate on robes. If you lick things, Namira herself finds foul. And then, proceed to wipe its tongue on your face. Um, dog doesn't seem to want to part from your company. Yes. It fails to grasp the fact that I wish to murder it. It thinks me kind and benevolent when all my actions speak to the contrary. <sighs> I suppose Tamriel would be a better place if we could all be the type of mortals the dogs think we are. Does the dog have a name? How should I know? It doesn't seem to respond to imbecile, and I cannot think of a more appropriate name. As a result, I have simply resorted to calling it Dog. Uh, Lord is a rare thing in this world. You should learn to appreciate the it. The loyalty of mortals is indeed a rare and treasured thing. The loyalty of a dog can be bought with a small piece of bread, or a significantly fragrant behind. I love your snacks.
Argo, how are you doing? Good to see you. Uh, this is uh, The Wilds Reloaded. Um, it's not in the mod list currently, I'm just trying it out today to see what it's like. Um, yeah. The dog must have at least one useful function. The dog does serve as excellent troll bait. Or any bait for that matter. I cannot begin to fathom how many mortal enemies this beast has garnered in its travel throughout Tamriel. That's it, just troll bait. Outside of that, the only quality the dog has that sets it apart from the others is the impossible amount of urine it holds in its bowels. Lovely. The dog is a prodigy in this regard, and this trait does have potential when used as a weapon against 